Hey there, very good evening to you. You're watching The Full View here on SABC News Channel. Thank you so much for joining the team this Saturday. Today, we're going to be looking at legal matters. A constitutional court has written to uh, former President Jacob Zuma, his lawyers, and those of others who are interested in the case of his continual detention, asking them to make submissions on not only the constitutional implications, but how international law will be impacted. We'll be looking at the role of women, not only in South Africa's democracy, but everyday life. We'll be speaking to uh, Ms. S.A. Shudufadzo and we'll also be talking about, in general, the erasure of particularly black women from uh, South Africa's apartheid history and what can we, we can do in contemporary history to make sure that they are acknowledged and uh, they form part of the collective memory, including the way forward for how we go to build our democracy. That's all coming up on the program today. First, let's start with the news headlines. When we win this case, it's not going to be us winning this case. It's going to be the Constitution that is going to be affirmed. The Constitutional Court issues directors for parties to submit documents addressing the international law and constitutional implications of former president's ongoing detention. Meanwhile, Tutuzani Zuma, the son of the former president, says he has begun processes in KwaZulu-Natal to contest the ANC leadership at the next national conference. Convicted child rapist Nicholas Nina plans to challenge his life sentence. This after the Supreme Court of Appeal granted him leave to appeal his sentence. And it's do or die for the Springboks when they take on the British and Irish Lions in the third and final test in Cape Town later today.